This is a quick tutorial on how I got Shane to do a back stall, which is a trick we do in Frisbee quite frequently and a trick that I'm most often asked about because it looks real fancy and looks really difficult to train, but it's actually one of the easier things to train in terms of um, Frisbee tricks. So we're going to start really simple by teaching Shane how to hop up on anything and everything. So I'm going to start with the couch because it's big and solid. It's going to be a little hard because she knows exactly what I want her to do, so she's going to be going a lot faster than I would normally be going. Hop up. No, you can get off that one. Hop up. Good girl. Okay. Hop up. Good girl. So, repeat that. Get her understanding what hop up means. I tend to continue to pat things twice because that's what I do to lure her or to give her the signal in the very beginning to hop up on my back until it's transferred to something a little bit different. So once where you, you get the dog really good on a big solid surface like a couch or a bed or um, a big chair, those are good things to start with because they're sturdy and they have a lot of room to work on. Then you're going to want to try to get a little bit smaller and we're going to move to a little stool I have. I have a stool with a rubber backed mat on it, bath mat, so when she jumps up it's not slippery or scary for her. I'm going to start with the widest part, thank you, down first. I'm going to hop up, good girl. If it's a little wobbly, you want to put your foot or somehow stabilize it so it's not scary. Okay, okay, hop up, good. So you do this until they're comfortable jumping onto something that's significantly smaller than what they're used to. Okay. Sit. I'm going to flip it so it's even smaller and less sturdy, but I'm going to keep this mat on it for now. Up, up. Good girl. I'm going to make sure she doesn't fall. See, it's a little wobbly, but that's good. You want them to get used to something being not quite as sturdy as a bed or a couch. Okay. Up, up. Good girl. And they're learning to stop on a very small surface area. Okay. Wait. I'm going to flip it back the way it was, and I'm going to take the mat off so it's a lot slicker, and she's going to have to work to stay on a little bit better. So I'm going to stand in front of it so she doesn't slide off. slide off the back. Come up. Good girl. Okay. Up, up. Good girl. She has to work a lot harder to stay on this. Okay. I'm going to make it more challenging by making it smaller for her to jump up on. I'm going to stand right in front of it again. Hop up. Yes. Because that's a very small space for them to be jumping. Good. Okay. Hop up. Woo! Hop up. She slid off, so I'm going to ask her immediately to get back on because I did click it and have her get the reward back up on here. Okay. Hop up. Good. That time I gave her a little help because she was sliding off. She's never going to be jumping on anything this slip, but it does help them learn how to stop on a very small area. We went from something that was broad and really sturdy like the couch, and we're going to, we moved to the bath mat on, we moved to, the, get down, we moved to the bath mat being on, stop, my shelf, sort of, whatever this is. And we made it bigger and then smaller, and then we took the mat off. So we're working to make things a little bit more difficult as we go. Here we go. Hop up. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. So you kind of get the idea. Get them to hop up onto anything and everything. It's also a great time to work on an off command by getting them off. One thing to consider is the size of your dog, the size of your back, and your own health. Um, you don't want to do this with... A breed such as a St. Bernard or a Great Pyrenees, you would probably become a pancake and you would not be very happy about it. Oh. I'm going to wear a vest that will protect my skin from being scratched by her nails. Some people use dive vests. I found that the fleece vest that I wear is just as efficient in keeping her nails off of me and it also gives her a little bit of traction when she's starting and stopping. So I'm going to have her 
Hop up. Hop up onto the couch. She knows what she wants to do already, so it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle. Come here. Come here. No. She knows what I want. I'm gonna use a lure. I'm gonna say, nope. Hop up. And pat. As soon as she puts any feet on me, I'm gonna click it and reward it. This is a good place to be. Because it's not normal for them to want to be on your back. Okay. I'm gonna do it again. Hop up. Good girl. Hop up. Good girl. Try to keep keep your back a little bit flat for them so they have a good place to relax. Sorry, forgot the tree. Okay. All right. Hop up. Now I want to try to ask her for more. I want her to actually have all feet on my back, not just one. This will take a while because it's not normal for them to want to put their body on your back. So click a reward for just one paw on your back. Anything that's moving towards putting their weight on you. Hop up. Hop up. So I'm going to ask her for a little bit more. Yes. Okay. Good girl. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hop up. Hop up. Yes. Good girl. Okay. Hop up. Hop up. Good girl. Okay. Alright, so now that she kind of has accustomed to walking onto my back, I'm going to give a little bit more space between the couch and myself, so she has to sort of hop her back feet on a little bit. Hop up. Hop up. Good girl. So she's learning how to stop from jumping up onto me. Back off. Thank you. Up there. No, no, no. to my back. Next thing I'm going to try is to actually have her just hop up from the ground onto my back. Hop up. Hop up. Good girl. Probably won't go that smoothly the first time. You can lure them up. So I'll take one piece of kibble chini. And I'll lure her. Yes. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. And reward her on my back. Once they're starting to get good at this, you can start adding a little bit of height. Use it, leave it. Come here. Sit. 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 Up, up. Yes, okay. Good. Shane, come here. You don't have to pat. You can actually just lure them up like you would have, or you can use the fact that you've been luring them like this to use this as part of the cue. So when it's finished, it'll look something like Shane, come. Up, up. Yeah, okay. Good girl. You want to try to keep your back flat so they have a nice place to land. Um, that's oftentimes one of the things that makes it difficult for people is that you start standing kind of like upright and your dog, they don't have anywhere to land. Um, you can easily teach this with two people. I never had a second person to do it, so I kind of learned on my own with one person using the couch as my assistant. That's what I'm looking for. 